<laughs> your favorite procrastinating ass bitch is back period um yes i'm finally doing my brows tutorials um i feel like this is something that a lot of people ask me more on instagram i know i just started really youtubing again so a lot of people don't ask me this on youtube but on instagram a lot of people ask me how i get my brows and usually when i do post the makeup that i use i do comment the products down below and it's the same two products that i use all the time i'm so sorry this took so long i just it's hot and i'm pregnant and it's hot and i'm pregnant and being hot and pregnant is so uncomfortable and it's just i didn't mean to do this earlier but it was hard it was really hard i was just like Oof. like right now i'm hot as hell i when i'm done doing this i'm going to turn my fan back on but yes i'm going to be explaining to you guys how i do my brows this video is super quick i didn't realize it'll be that quick but maybe you guys will like it more because i know my last two videos have been like hell long and wasn't trying to have them hell long it's just even with editing i was just still like shit but this is a quick video this is how i do my brows um at the end of the video i do tell you what the next video i do have planned so hopefully you guys want to see that and like I say in every video, if you are, there's anything you want to see in particular, please let me know. Because I don't, I don't even know what y'all want. But sometimes y'all like what I post, so. But if you have anything particular that you really want to see, if you do follow me on Instagram and I have a look on there, not the butterfly looks, please. Don't ask me to do the butterfly looks on here. They take me hours to do. That's going to be so hard. I can show you guys how to draw out the butterfly, but I won't do the whole butterfly look if you guys want to see that. I'll, I'll do that for you guys. I'm gonna cry when I do that, but I'll, I'll do that for you guys. But if there's like a look on Instagram that I posted, no matter what the time is, if I can remember what I use, usually I post the products. Um, I can redo those looks for you if you have a certain um, color thing you want to see me do, I'll do it. Um, if you guys have questions between identifying your skin undertone and what products work best for your skin type I can do that I kind of want to do one about you know exfoliation and all the three different types of exfoliants and what's best for you but I just want to know if you guys want to know that because I want to go a little bit into skincare because skincare has a lot to do with makeup so a lot of times if you feel like your makeup isn't coming out right you probably need to focus on your skincare it's not always your makeup because you can still use drugstore makeup and look like you have on hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of face as long as you take care of your skin so remember that guys skin is more important than makeup honestly saying that as makeup artist please don't mind my breakout um, i'm pregnant like i said my daughter hates my skin i'm breaking out of bed but anyways let's that's a different story if you guys want a skincare video please let me know i didn't find an undertone let me know something that i already posted that i will do for you guys let me know but right now we're talking about brow so let's just hop into this Hey, oh, and subscribe. Subscribe. Tell your friends about me. And subscribe. You know. Subscribe. 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 But now let's go into the video. Yeah. I'm focused. So, as you guys can see, I have this brow already done um i did it off camera i didn't want to do both brows so i'm just gonna kind of simply show you guys how to do my brows and honestly i think my brows are super super simple um anyways i think my brows are super simple um i only use really three products two brushes i'm going to explain to you guys what i use so for brows i use the precisely my brow pencil from benefit i use the shade six for other reference colors you don't have to use this brow product of course, or this brow pencil. I'm a pencil person. I've done the pomades before. I'm not a pomade person. I haven't, then it was powder. Don't really use um, powder anymore. I'm now strictly pencil. And this one is um, one of the thinner pencils. Um, they do have a thicker one. I don't personally for myself like the thicker pencil, but if that one's easier for you, I say go ahead and use it. But yes, I use the precisely my brow pencil and I use the shade six. And for other reference colors of brows, um, if you're Anastasia, I use ebony. Well, if you feel like your brow color is the same, similar as mine, of course. In Fenty, I am soft black. 
I believe in the NYX, the really thin, the micro pencil. I want to see, I, say I was using black because the espresso was too brown. Um, I don't like my brows too brown because my hair is dark and so are my eyebrows. So I feel like if things are too warm, that's what I mean by too brown, like too warm toned. Um, you can, I can obviously, I can obviously tell and it just throws off my face. I think my brows are the only thing are kind of really like cool toned on me. Um, but yeah. Next product is the... 24 hour brow setter also by Benefit. This is actually my favorite brow gel. I've tried a few of them. Um, if you don't use this pencil per se, I do highly recommend this brow gel. It's my absolute favorite. It really holds my brows in place because I do personally have a lot of brow hair. Um, and they do get really curly and really wild sometimes depending on how long I let them grow out. Um, and I feel like this one really holds them down without them being like crunchy. It's definitely like if you know what I mean. Um, and then the next one is actually the P. Louise Eye Base. Um, I use this to kind of conceal my brows. You don't have to use this P. Louise Eye Base. You can use a regular concealer. If you don't like the way concealing your brow looks, you don't have to do that. But I personally do. It help. it just really kind of give it a more defined look. And for some reason, this has been a lot better than some of the concealers I use. Like I said, you don't have to do this. If you have a concealer you like, go ahead and use your concealer. It's just sometimes easier for me to use this, especially if I'm priming my eyes before um, eyeshadow. And then I have two brushes. You can use one brush. The second brush is optional, but the first brush, this one is the GOAT. I've had this brush for years. If you followed me or subscribed to me when I first started doing YouTube, you know, I, this is my OG brush. This is the MAC 242. This is one of the original ones, now they're 242S, which are just as good. This one is super thin because I've had it for so long, and I feel like the more you use it, the thinner it gets. But this is just, it's curved, so it gives me that nice, like, um, clean up under my brow. And then this one is just a Morphe brush. It's like a goat hair brush, and I just use that to, for blending. You, know, you don't have to use this brush, you can use your finger. You can use this brush if you don't use a lot of product. Um, but those are the products I will be using. I will kind of be talking you guys through how I do my brow as I do it as well. So I'm going to zoom you guys in and I will be, well, right back, I guess. It's, yeah, okay, you guys are nice and zoomed in to my brows. Um, so we're going to be achieving this brow on this side. And I promise you guys, it's super simple. Um, I'm going to take really take my time and do it so I can show you guys what I do. Um, but like I said, when I do my brows, they don't really take me that long. They're really quick because I think they're so simple now, especially because it took me a while to figure out the technique that worked best for me. Hopefully this works best for you guys too, to get a super natural, really like fluffy brow. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the spoolie and I'm going to brush all the hairs up. So literally just brushing them directly up so I can see where my arch is. And I usually don't put a lot of product in the front of my brows because that's where the hair is the thickest. I usually hit it in the more sparse area. So I'm actually going to start from this area and I'm going to draw a really soft line. And then I'm going to brush that line up. So that's the, that's the thing about when I do my brows. After every line I'm just going to move it forward in that same motion and kind of stop right there in that area and just brush my brows up and going back in right there and brushing all that product up with the tip of the spoolie not the whole spoolie just the tip so it can be more precise and I'm going to take my pencil and like flick back the areas that I feel like are a little more sparse and I focus most of my attention towards the back of my brows because that's where it's the thinnest and then just kind of slowly go back with that circling like that line motion and hitting it where I feel like it's the sparses and it's going back to rebrush it and the nice thing about doing this even if you mess up a little bit because I personally do clean up my brows I can fix it and then I'm gonna take a little bit in the front and kind of just Flick that up and then brush all of that up. So right now that is the brow and I'm going to take a little bit of the P. Louise eye base on the back of my hand just like literally the tiniest bit and coat it on both sides of the brush and when I apply my concealer 
I'm not going to apply it all the way in the front. I'm just going to hit it towards a little bit back. And I'm going to follow that line. And I'm going to brush that part down. And I'm just going to take this other brush and kind of fluff and brush that towards the front where I didn't necessarily pack on concealer. And then I'm going to go back in after that's done. Take whatever little bit is left over my hand. And just go back over just to make sure I'm comfortable and I like the way that looks. And then because now I can see where like my arch is, I can go back in those sparser areas, which is a little bit right here. I don't do like I said, I don't do too much to the front. I want that to look nice. And wispy and then I like to go back in and brush out all the hairs see when it's be done and now I'm satisfied with that I'm gonna take that and blend that in more I'm gonna take the gel and I'm gonna kind of fluff all that through my brows and I go directly up so I push all of them up and then I take it, don't dip it back in, and kind of flick it backwards, like lightly with the tip of the brush. And I hit the front again because I want the front to be a little fluffier and make sure. And then I'll go back in, like right there in the middle of my brow, see a sparse area, go back in with my pencil. And just hit those sparse areas and just lightly tap it. I'm not even putting too much, I'm just going a little flick, flick in where it's a little thinner. Because I don't want my brows to be too dark. And then, yeah, that's my brow. I'm going to zoom you guys out. And honestly, that's literally how I do my brows. I feel everyone thinks they're so extreme or just take a lot, and it doesn't. So I'm going to zoom you guys back out. I'm going to pop up some lashes first and then zoom you guys back out. And that will be really the end of the video. Okay, guys, I'm back. I popped on lashes. The lashes I put on are the Velour Lashes in... She o she e o um but yeah that's basically how I do my brows um I just did like a little quick Instagram story and I was telling everybody kind of know a lot of people been asking me for my brow tutorial about how simple and how easy this was and I hope I really like explained to you guys like my brows like sometimes I don't know if my camera's in focus because. I'm blind. I can't see. My glasses are cricket. Long story. I don't even know how I did that, honestly. But I really hope this was really helpful and beneficial to you guys. Um, I tried to make it as super simple and easy as possible. I know I do have a lot of brow hair, so it's, um, it's a little bit different for people who have less. But I still say um, try this method and just brush your hairs up. And see if that works and if you don't and if you do have like thinner hair or a little bit of hair you could try the same technique with a pomade and just go very light handed use a thin brush and if you have to add more product to the top just do the same method that I'm doing very very light hands and brush it down so you'll still get a natural brow it's more of a, a technique than um, anything it's just as long as you're really light handed you'll still get a natural brow even if you have to add more product somewhere else even if you have to use a different product it's just about a technique being very light hand and brushing the product through your brows because I feel like that stops them from being so harsh so I hopefully if the tutorial wasn't exactly how you want it you at least picked up on the technique and just being very very light handed being very light handed with concealer with the pencil, even with the spoolie, because the softer your hands are, the more natural and more softer your brows will look. But of course, if you want that Instagram brow, do your Instagram brow, boo. I just, I don't do my Instagram brow no more. I feel like that's the one thing about makeup and um, just growing as an artist. You figure out what frames your face. I've had the Instagram brow. I've had the natural Instagram brow. And now I'm into the natural fluffy brow. Who knows? In a year or two what my brows are going to be like right now these are my favorite and i say that every time but hopefully that was very helpful for you guys um i will try out another pro another brow product in the next upcoming video i have which is going to be the 
um, it's gonna be like a quick um, full face tutorial on um, you know just like on a more of a five minute makeup look I actually have that look on to be completely honest with you guys I don't have any foundation at all I literally have coverage here 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 tiny bit there that's really it and then you know under my under eye of course and stuff like that but that's what I plan to do next is a quick like five minute makeup tutorial and then the brow product I'm going to be using in there will be completely different I didn't want to use it in this tutorial because I don't use it very often I use this is what I usually use to use my brow to do my brows but hopefully in that in that video I will explain how I do my brows in that too with the product so that product is a little bit different um, you end up seeing if you like that product better and it works for you so if you guys have any suggestions um, on what you'd like to see next please comment down below if you have any more questions please comment down below so I can answer them or even DM me on Instagram that works too but hopefully you guys like this video hopefully it was helpful like I said, I didn't realize that my brows didn't take that long. Well, I knew they didn't, but I didn't really think the video would be this short. So, yeah. Thank you. Love you guys.